right, welcome back to GMFL TV. We're uh, getting into now our uh, 5 o'clock and 6.30 games, so uh, let's not waste any time. Uh, 5 o'clock, we have Packers-Ravens. This is game of the week, two undefeated teams. Like I said, we only have three, Ravens, Packers, Cardinals. Um, so we're definitely, at the most, only going to have two at the end of this week because of this game. So, uh, Chris... How do you feel about the Packers-Ravens? This is going to be an epic battle. I mean, you got the Packers who are three in defense and the Ravens two in defense. And then you got the Packers six in offense and the Ravens two in offense. Um, now, the Packers are the only undefeated team in the Peace Division. Um, but they easily could have been 0-2 right now. I mean, each of the games were close, heavyweight battles, um, but they're a resilient team. But I think the Ravens are also a resilient team. And this week, they won 32-27. to and they could have very well have lost that last second. I mean, the Panthers were looking good. They were driving up the whole game, and, and, and Panthers drop it in the end zone to lose, right? And so, um, but, but I wonder so far that the Ravens, they haven't faced a, a good defense yet, a, a, a top-of-the-line defense. They played a 10th-ranked and 11th-ranked defense so far. This will be the first time they get to play a, a top-ranked, three-ranked uh, defense. Uh, so I think they're going to struggle this week, and I'm calling the Packers – 33, Ravens 19. And the Ravens, the good thing you won last week because you got the Packers, the Cards, and the 49ers the next three weeks. So you're going to have a rough road ahead. Yeah. Buddy, what do you have to say? Well, I think uh, I think Chris underestimates the Ravens. Uh, the Ravens are, I believe, they're, 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 they're a real deal. They're, they're definitely a contender to win the division over there uh, in the uh, Justice uh, Division. Uh, they got big time John over there who's coming in, our first year quarterback, and, and leading the league in touchdowns. Uh, so, uh, so the Packers have their hands full there. Uh, also, they, they, their team is super fast. All of them are really quick. Uh, you got Yamir, Yamir and uh, Laron, mm -hmm. who, who are looking uh, crazy fast out there uh, and, and, and looking pretty unstoppable. Uh, now, the Packers, can the Packers, can they get it together uh, and put a complete game, which is what they're going to need to beat the Ravens? Uh, we'll see. I mean, you got the, the young guys kind of stepping up. You got Allen, Kyler scoring, scoring their first touchdowns this week. Uh, and, uh, and White Boy kind of learning as he goes at quarterback. Uh, we'll see if he can put it all together this week. But, but I believe that they can, and I got them winning 27 to 20. Packers. Packers winning 27 to 20. So a close one, but Packers come out on top. So, uh, so then going to our other 5 o'clock game, uh, we got the 49ers and Panthers. Panthers coming off that just tough loss. 49ers rebounding after last week, beating the you know, Urban Bowl defending champions on the last second play. Um, so both teams are going to come out with, with something to prove. Uh, so who do you got in this game, uh, buddy? Well, you got the, the, the Panthers who, are, uh, who, who did show some life last week. Uh, uh, can they beat the 49ers? I don't know. Uh, their quarterback over there, Josh, uh, if he can get the ball to his playmakers, he might be make this a competitive game, uh, you know, throwing it to Howard, Jose, and Justin. But I just think that the, the 49ers are riding high now. They're, I think they're, 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 hitting, they're hitting that peak there, and they're just going to mm -hmm. continue to climb. After that big win against the, uh, the, the Redskins, a win with one second left in the game, uh, Felix making a, a spectacular play. I just believe they're going to be too much. I think they're too talented uh, offensively uh, for, for the Panthers. Uh, and defensively, uh, the 49ers can work a little bit there. But I still have them as top of the league up here. Yeah, I mean, the, the 49ers are high-powered offense. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe the most high-powered in the league. I mean, 38 points against the Skins are ridiculous. Um, but, but here's the thing. Whenever I pick against the 49ers, they always seem to win. You should have seen how mad they were at me last week for picking against them. I'm so sorry, guys. Don't cry. But anyway, the Panthers. Now, the thing is about the Panthers. Owen, to I like the Panthers. They were looking good all last week. I watched the entire game except for two different plays. I walked over to check the other game, and those two plays is when the Ravens got their big bombs of a touchdown. So, sorry, guys. I walked away. I won't be there for this week because I got the, the Packers going on the other side. Uh, I, I think the Panthers have a solid lock three wins this year. Solid lock. As I look over the schedule, they can possibly get four, maybe five. But, but before, I definitely think it's, it's doable. The thing is they got to work on is their attitude. Because sometimes they get down, they get beat, and they beat themselves. If they can work together as a unit, they can surprise some people. They look fundamentally sound. They're athletic. They're doing great. That said, the 49ers are going to win this week. 49, Panthers 20. Hang in there, Panthers. Next week starts your week. All right, all right. So uh, <clears throat> then we get into our 630 games. We have the Jets still looking for their first win, uh, and the Vikings also looking for their first win. 
So uh, one of these teams is going to come in and get their first win finally for the season. Uh, veteran team against the new team. Chris, who do you like in this one? Yeah, I'm going to tell you what. Last week I, we, we introduced what's called the Jets Factor. And uh, I'm going to tell you what. They redefined Jets Factor this week. I mean, they, they're no longer bums. I mean, these guys were the real deal this week. They had good coaching. They had teamwork. They had fan support. I mean, this is the best. I mean, the most improved in the league, hands down, goes to the Jets. Yeah. They're 11th in defense. Last week, they were in 12th. So, I mean, they're getting better each week. And I think that, that, that they have a chance to maybe win some games. I thought they didn't have a chance to win a game this year. I think they have some chances now. Now, that said, they got to play the Vikings. The Vikings are fourth in defense, and they're 0-2. This defense is tough. They're 11th in offense. They're struggling a little bit offensively. Uh, and I'm sorry, Jets, but the Vikings are mad. They're real mad. And I think that this is going to be the week they get their mojo back. And they're going to beat the Jets in the other blowout of the week, 45-12. Hang in there, Jets. Next week might be your week. All right. Buddy, what do you have to say? Well, uh, the, the Jets, uh, they kind of suffered last week from some controversial calls. I know they kind of felt a lot of calls didn't go their way. But they did look a lot better. Uh, the Vikings are just a, a veteran team. Uh, defensively, they're sound. I don't know if the Jets are going to be able to penetrate their front line with Jose, Isaiah, and John Horton. Uh, now, you know, defensively is not the problem for the Vikings, but offensively, they got to be able to put it together. Uh, and I believe that they will this week, whether they have John Horton at quarterback mm -hmm. or Jameel Bay. Uh, and I got them winning 36-13. All right, all right. So yeah. going to our final game then. Uh, Raiders and Broncos. Broncos also looking for their first wins. Or no, they sorry. They're one and one, and say what? So are the Raiders. So uh, both teams same same uh, record. Uh, who's going to come out two and two and one after this game, buddy? Well, uh, when you look at the the, the Broncos, they, they're improving each week. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Raiders, uh, they're they're a solid team. They've been in the league for a long time, uh, and I think this is going to be a good matchup for the Broncos to kind of see where they stand. Uh, the uh, the Broncos they have tremendous playmakers. They have Simone. Uh, and, and the quarterback getting them the ball over there, doing pretty good. Uh, the Raiders, uh, they have some quarterback controversy over there. Uh, they showed some life in the second half uh, against the Eagles. Uh, can, they, can, they, can they do that for a whole game against the Broncos? I, I think they can. Uh, and I got the Raiders winning, whether they had Brandon, Lorenzo, Mo, mm -hmm. or anyone at quarterback. I think, I think the Raiders, just with their superior coaching staff, will, will pull out a win. And I got the Raiders winning. Uh, no, I got the. I'm sorry, I got the the Raiders winning. Yeah, 27 to 21. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree. I mean, the thing is, the Raiders, uh, you know, they're fifth in defense. The Broncos are seventh in defense. The uh, on offense, the Raiders are tenth, right? And that's because every time I look, every single play, there's a different quarterback, right? So who in the heck is going to be quarterbacking? And, 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 and but the thing is, is their defense is solid. And the last time I heard, defense wins championships. Just ask the Raiders a couple years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So I think the Broncos are going to keep improving each and every week, and they're going to keep getting better and better. But I think the Broncos have not faced a real defense yet. And this week they're getting ready to face one. And the Raiders are going to pull this one out 26-19. Okay. All right. So some close games we got going on. Uh, we'll see who comes out on top. I think you have about two games to pick different, three games to pick different between the two of you. So uh, Chris is going to try and rebound here. We'll see what happens. Um, but uh, thanks for joining us again for another edition of Timoteo TV. Make sure you keep checking out the website, TimoteoFootball.com, uh, with stats, announcements, uh, words from the mount, all that stuff. So uh, make sure you keep checking out, and we'll see you out on the field. Woo -hoo. Thank you. Uh